<laughs> hey guys and welcome to catamaranfreedom.com and uh, this week's video concerning trimarans and hopefully this will be a short video I've been interrupted eight times now so <laughs> hopefully I can get through it and manage to pull this video off for you guys this time so what I want to talk to you about today is why trimarans are faster than catamarans and a little bit why that is so and I'm going to look into some basic stuff and if you want to know get a little bit more in depth you can check out my, my article that is on catamaranfreedom.com and it'll also be in a link uh, in the description below um, and I want to give you the, the short answer first and then you can decide if you want to watch the little bit more in detail stuff but I'll read from from what I've written here so I make sure I really make this clear so the main reason why a trimaran is faster than a catamaran of the same size is that a trimaran has less hydrodynamic um, resistance than a catamaran. Uh, trimaran. Trimarans are using the same principle as a catamaran to move, to move the boat forward, but it's able to do it more efficiently since it spreads out the displacement over three hulls instead of two. This makes uh, it possible to make each hull more narrow and thus more streamlined and reduce drag. Okay, so a lot of things there, right? But in 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 uh, in general, you have a m amount of displacement you have to make, or amount of so our our Archimedes principle or our whatever it's pronounced uh, says that if you if you want to make a five kilogram thing float, you need to displace five kilograms of water. That's basically what it says. And the first thing about displacement is that. Uh, that rule needs to be implemented unless your your boat or whatever is going to sink that's just how it is so now that we understand a little bit about this principle we understand that for one weight is important and two length is important and the, the, the trimmer and actually employs a third hull right that means it has a longer line or uh, it has a longer length in the water uh, and that is very important because that means the hulls can be narrower and at the same length and that means the drag will be less and if the drag is less you need less energy to move it forward does it make any sense? I hope so so uh, weight is important and length is important and since those two are fixed otherwise we wouldn't really be able to compare a catamaran to a trimaran then we'd be comparing the wrong stuff so we have x amount of weight we have y amount of of length uh, then we can change the length in the water and we change the length in the water by adding another hull or a floater on the trimaran um, so that means we now could have less drag that's basically the why a trimaran will be faster um, what else do we got here? Mm, okay, so we have two types of hulls, right? We have the planning hull, or planing hull, <laughs> that's how it's pronounced. <laughs> or we have displacement hulls, right? So a displacement hull is basically when you take this, when you take this bowl or whatever, you put it in the water and it just displaces water, and it, it floats. And then you add a force and you make it, you know, move. You push it. Uh, it's it just have the same displacement all the time and it weighs it's the same in the water all the time if you have a planing hull that means you add a little bit of a hydrodynamic um, function to it which makes the boat go up out of the water and uh, has less weight below or has less surface area below the waterline and if you have less surface area you have less drag and that means exactly you'll go faster at the same amount of energy um, so what multi hulls would use are um, almost like foils that will make them lift up a little bit. You can actually see this on like racing hulls and you can see like a catamaran or a trimaran they would you know, almost flip to the side and one hull will be up in the air, one will be in, inside the water. So that's also something that is used. Um, what else do we have here? We have... Uh, yeah, I think that's about it. That'll make, make us get the basics of it and if you want to know uh, the fastest times around the world you want to see how much faster trimaran is to a catamaran when going around the world and how quick that is done it's like 42 days or something like that is the world record and it's on a trimaran if you want to get a little bit more into those details I recommend you check out the website catamaranfreedom.com and you will get a lot more in-depth information 
and if there's any questions let me know in the comment section below or just visit the website okay cool take care guys catamaran freedom out <laughs>